And we're back, traders. Mike from MS100 here, bringing you some weekend technical analysis of the S&P 500. Today, like always, what I like to do on the weekends, I like to take a step back from the market and actually start with the longer term time frame charts and then close it into some shorter time frame periods. So we're going to do some analysis doing that this weekend. So let's take a look at them. All right, traders, I brought up the SPY monthly chart. The reason why I bring up the SPY is because you actually get a volume reading from my broker. I get a volume reading on the SPY. I don't actually get that on the S&P 500 cash index. But what I am looking at on the monthly chart here on the SPY is we do have a possible rising wedge pattern or other people may call it a bear rally. Now last week we were looking at the possibility of a bearish engulfing candle forming over here on the SPY but it doesn't look like we're gonna get that to actually show up on the charts because we did move higher this week now in order for that to form we would have to go all the way back to um, 867 on the S&T and I don't think we actually are gonna oops, actually are gonna get that low on there this week because we're probably gonna have some relatively light volume because the markets are closed on Thursday for Independence Day Oh, sorry, on Friday for Independence Day. And we'll probably get some light volume starting on Wednesday this week. Notice, though, on the monthly chart how the volume has been decreasing lately. And as we are getting in this cell candle in here, the volume has started to pick up a little bit, if not even out. So that's just something to look at. Also, I'm looking at the stochastics here on the monthly chart, and we still haven't been over 40. Normally, I use 40 as an indicator of whether the market is coming out of, uh, out of the selling or not especially when it's been oversold for a while and right now we're at 23 and 30 so that's not looking good either let me uh now I'm going to pull up the weekly chart for you here you are the weekly chart of the spy um kind of just looking at this channel pattern we've been in uh we did break down lower before in March but just look I'm just looking at this the sideways consolidation here and personally I don't see any kind of bottoming pattern that's formed in the markets notice how um, three weeks ago we did come up and uh, test this 50 period moving average but it lined up with this trend line that I drew in here well it lined up after actually and notice that was close to necktie support but we didn't even get up to touch the 50 period moving average so that's showing us that there's some weakness still in the markets well it would have been a lot better if we actually did come up and touch it but we didn't so right now I'm just looking at this chart we do have the possibility of a inverted uh, head shoulders forming on here notice how we have shoulder head and then maybe a possibility of another shoulder over here in the near future but we'll see we'll see what plays out we do have this hammer down here formed last week and we do have some light volume that's going to come in um, probably this week because of the fourth of july so we'll see what's happened we could have a nice like little drizzle up for the next couple days in the market so we'll see what's happening with that let's take a look at the daily chart now here we are on the daily chart. Notice on Thursday how I did say I expected a day of consolidation after the move up on uh, Thursday during the day. Thursday night I said possible consolidation on Friday. Notice we did get that consolidation with uh, some lower volume that we've been getting in the last than the last couple days in here. Stochastics on this chart are starting to turn up, but still not over 40 yet. I'd like to see them get over 40, but I still still am watching this 9:30 area right where we have this 20 period moving average in the possible top on a shoulder over there notice how we could be forming the head and shoulders pattern shoulder over here head here possible shoulder coming over here so we're gonna see what happens with that we did break out of that downtrend line if we do if we do move up this week probably just move up slow drizzle up here move up to this area of 930 and then possibly we could sell off of that I do want to bring a bring up the 60 minute chart right now and take a look at that real fast all right, traders, here's the 60-minute chart of the SPY. Notice that we have the other trend lines drawn in here still from the daily chart, taking a look at those uh, areas. Notice how we're consolidating right here in this possible bull flag pattern right underneath the 200-period moving average on this 60-minute chart. So if we do break out of this flag, I do think we are going to definitely come up and test this 930 area. So that's something that I'm watching. Uh, I will be putting the watch list out on the site tonight. I'm not going to put a movie out. The site is ms100.com. I'm going to put it up under the weekly equity basket. Traders, I'll see you there.